Hi guys. So if you're looking for an AI legal research tool, Lexis Plus has the coolest product right now, and I think you should check it out. So we've got a lot to get through. And so whether you're a law student, a law professional, an attorney who's looking for a legal research tool that implements AI, I've got the right tool for you. So this is basically um, the dashboard when you log in. And so there's a lot of things going on. This is where you would save your like client files, folders, um, you can change the display settings um, in this section here. And so uh, it's, it's set out in a way that um, all the different tools are labeled on the left-hand side panel here. So this is where you would do your general search. You would search uh, whatever question you have, a citation or whatever it is that you're trying to search. And then you can um, choose whether you want to uh, look at statutes, legislation, so on and so forth and uh, which jurisdiction. So right now, this would be in the United States, but uh, you don't just have to search the United States. You can also search um, all international content, right? So if you go down to this section here, um, you could start here, this section here, and then you can um, click on what you're looking for in particular. So if you're looking for pleadings and motions and briefs, which is uh, where a lot of us would be, which is right here, um, or you could look for a bunch of different things which are set out here. It even has sample forms, which I think is really cool. It has legal news, journals, law journals, uh, different codes. And then you can search by um, federal or state level um, right here. And then you can also search practice areas. So um, it has a wide variety of different practice areas. Um, I don't think there's one that they've left out. Um, if you go here out to international, you can also search by uh, different co countries or uh, continents, which I think is also really cool. And then sources, of course, primary, secondary sources, you can search there. And then you can also search by topic. This is quite similar to the practice area, but, um, you know, it has a few um, additions, but it's quite similar to the practice area here. Then there's some additional tools that you can uh, take a look at where you can upload your own documents and you can check up on your citations. You can analyze whatever documents you upload. So that's pretty cool. Then if you go down to the practice area here, um, let's go here. This is where you would still be doing a bit of research, but you would be focusing on things like templates, forms, um, checklists, drafting your documents, that stuff. So as you can see, usually it would be like in family law, criminal law, and they haven't really updated much besides family law and criminal law, but you can still check for like uh, clauses, articles, templates, forms, and things like that. And you could uh, check based on like market standards. Uh, you can compare different states. So you could compare your um, documents in one state to the other, and then you can automate templates. I think this is the coolest part, the automated template section. You can also check this out when you get the time. And then there's litigation analytics. Now, since most of my work is not in litigation, this wouldn't apply to me. But I know that for some people, they would want to know what, how courts have decided certain things in the past. So if you're a litigating attorney and litigating attorney, and you want to know what's the success rate of other attorneys when they bring these kind of matters, you can search here and you can compare by different courts and judges. Judges are still human. They tend to sway one side. Or you can also compare... Uh, according to counsel. So how have other lawyers perfor performed in the past? So if you're going up against a certain lawyer and you want to know their win rate in this certain area, you could also find out that kind of information. And then here's more document analysis. So we did talk a little bit about document analysis on the um, pra practical guidance section here, but here's where you would get um, you would get it in more detail. So here's where you'd be comparing your briefs, your arguments, your opponent's arguments. If you want help, finding uh, arguments against your opponents. Here's where you'd be. You can compare your briefs here. You can analyze your contracts here. You can review contracts as well. So it's a tool which isn't just research. You get to actually review and draft contracts, which I think is really cool that you won't have to have like, you know, one software to review and to draft contracts and then doing your research on a whole other different tool, which I think is really cool. And then here's just the legal news hub. Um, if you're interested, um, you could... Uh, set alerts and then receive the latest news, not just law tech news, but you know, news that's regarding whatever area you're practicing in. So it's a pretty simple tool to use. There's also um, a help 24 hour help section, um, which is right here. So you can do a live chat, you can go through their resources, which is like videos and um, other articles. 
And so if you want, you can check this out. It's seven days. You can try this for seven days. Um, and then you can contact a representative if you're interested in paying full time. Thanks, guys.